Hello, welcome back. Last time I put some more work into Reach for the Stars and figured out most of the pieces, but I still have this one big outstanding mystery still to go. Alright, so... Oh, right, so I'm on a newer game version now, and I changed the highlight colors a little bit. Now, if I'm on a, um... a target for wiring, the color is like that. And if it's a source, the color is as it was. Makes it a little more distinct. Looks a little funny here with the sight line, but that's just, just because two things happen to be drawn at the same time. I got this whole fancy system I implemented that maybe I'll use for this room, maybe not. I don't want to get into the whole thing right now. Uh, but if it is useful, I'll, uh, I'll take another look at it. So, this altar right here. This is my big question mark. What do I do with you? I have a slight flying snake shortage, and I don't know who dies here or how. I had, okay, so here in partial one sacrifice altar, still a mystery. Let's just watch, what did I do with this? So I teleported in there, I moved a bomb bug. I blocked a sight line. I got a statue to that altar, right, okay. I think that step is incorrect. Because one, it feels weird to just be unstacking that statue and doing nothing with the fact that it's elevated. Two, I think I need a statue later for this altar. Okay. So next step was... Stack thing- right, move, move the bomb bug over. Then stack things up like that. Right, and I had a way to do this without wasting... Uh, yeah, so I got a thing on a flying snake at some point. This was not meant for watching, this was meant for restoring to the end. Right, no, this is not part of that solution, right, that's fine. Of course, right, because I used the statue. So I need at least two push blocks still available in the west part of the puzzle for bridging over that. That's something I know. I stash everything out of the way, get this up on top of a flying snake now, right? Yes. Make my own little custom bracket or something. That's actually a little different than I thought, but that's fine, that works. What am I trying to do? Right, sacrifice on that altar. Okay, so this is open, so you follow behind me at a distance, right. Then I can get things in the water. Shoot that statue, because that has to happen at some point. Blow those up, because some of that has to happen at some point. Maybe not exactly like that, but something like that. That angry eye's dead. And that's the end of playback. Okay. Alright, so that's not everything that I understand. So I was able to put a block on a flying snake and push these things together with one fury used there, which didn't require unstacking the statue, so I could still have the statue stacked at that point. So right, my big thing was in this tangle right here. The poison, the trapdoor, the altar, the rubble... I don't think a tall grass plays into it too much. But yeah, those things all together... I want to make a kill. I have never made it... I want to make a kill here, and I have never made a kill here before. So, I... Th some things that I determined. It's almost definitely not a bomb bug. It is definitely not a monster block. It's definitely not an angry eye. It could be a statue. It's definitely not a slug. It's definitely not me. So... Let's look at the two most likely. Statue and flying snake. First flying snake. For a flying snake to get here... I would need the explosion to already have gone off in one of these spots because with this geometry, even assuming I could sweep up all the poison and not worry about the trapdoor, just this little 2x2 two two space forbids getting a flying snake into this location. Like that's just not well with me next to it. That's just not possible. Because there is no way it would ever gain vertical preference coming in from anywhere in here. Because there's just, just no reason to. Uh, unless there were an obstacle here. Uh, 
That is intriguing. I thought of a way. There's a few other requirements, but that's... That's interesting. There's a lot wrong here, but some things are right. Because, okay, so imagine I had somehow, magically, a flying snake up in this area. I bring it down to me, it follows me, it follows me, it follows me, then it goes north because there's an obstacle here. Pow. And I don't need every one of my push blocks here, like I could, I could have one here in this spot. That does not break my allocations. Okay, that's interesting. So Flying Snake is not necessarily in incompatible with this spot while Statue Rubble exists. So, right, my one of my problems here was that I had an ordering issue. I wanted this to come early-ish so I could have that bomb bug for something. I wanted this bomb bug to be the sacrifice on that altar. Okay, let's do a thing. I'm gonna take a little moment and ch ch test out this new thing. So I have some notes here. Uh, I can just type freeform text in here. Whatever I want. And this will be saved in my player profile and shown to me in this room whenever I want to. But the more interesting feature I have, right, so if I want to look at something behind here and I'm having trouble, I'm holding the mouse button now so I can see the whole room. But the more interesting thing is this little menu. So I'm in a menu now, it's a little hard to tell, but there's there's this extra thing over here. Music is stopped, everything is paused. So I'm gonna say this bomb bug, who is bomb bug B, gets a symbol. Let's call it a red circle. So there's a red circle over that bomb bug now. Then I'm gonna go to this tile. I wanna mark the tile with red circle. So now I can say the two red circles go together. This bomb bug goes to that spot. And uh, if that flying snake were to move, then yeah, the red circle stays in place, but you can see this one sticking to the bomb bug. This is something I've always wanted to draw, and having my own game here that I can mess with gives me that, that chance to implement it. So I can put a little mark on a monster and it will persist with that monster. Red circle, yeah, it even shows on the tooltip. This took forever to implement. It's not necessarily done. I'm not 100% happy with the UI, but like, the functionality is pretty good, I think. So, red circle here and here. The way it kind of pauses everything and interrupts the music maybe is not great. Yeah, still thinking about this. Maybe it should just be a thing I click in here, like an edit tool, and just do it during gameplay, but that comes with a lot of complications. Anyway, so this altar. If I... Oh, I can't investigate wiring while I'm in the, this mode. Yeah, okay. There are some flaws here. I think I do need to throw away that UI and do a new one that's just like here during this. Unfortunate, but I think it needs to be done. Okay. Well, that's why I'm testing these things now here. Because, yeah, just digging it out of a menu is just, it's just not right. Okay, I'll figure that out somehow. Anyways, but like, I can at least place the marks, awkward though it might be right now. So what is Flying Snake B allocated to? And these things are always on top, nothing can go on top of them, so they'll always be visible. I mean, yeah, it's the snow marked here, not the altar, because you can't specifically mark the altar. You don't need to, it's the, the location. So it's either location or entity. So, right. Who am I allocating to this? Alright, so what is Flying Snake B's job? And I thought Bombug A might have been a bit of a waste. Flying Snake B. One of you is carrying blocks over this to put in this water, I'm pretty sure. And that includes Bombug F, Angry IC, and the blocks that they're on. Statue I'm not sure about yet. They can do a lot of things, 
and I'm not sure which thing they can do is the most useful. Let's say I had sacrificed something here, and it wasn't a flying snake. Let's say it was this statue. So imagine I had somehow done that. This bomb bug is available, so I'd like pull out this flying snake, insert the bomb bug, detonate it here to open that, use flying snake B to get in here and do the thing with that. But then I don't need the other flying snake. Okay, so let's say that flying snake A is clearly the one that will be going through this door because I have absolutely no use for a flying snake if this has already been sacrificed on and these have already been filled. Yeah, the only thing I need them for is porting a block across here or sacrificing on this altar. Or this one, I suppose? What's that altar do? It opens the other flying snake. Right, so I'm not having it until I sacrifice something there. It could be a statue. It could be this statue. It could be a flying snake, except that would use my first one only to get the second. See, it'd be great if I could somehow, like, kill this one here while it carries the blocks and then push the blocks north. <laughs> sure. Oh, here's something I hadn't thought about. And a reason for this to exist, maybe. Oh, it's in line with... Oh. What if something stacked on this bomb bug, I step up here, it sees me, and it crawls to the north. Uh, well, there's water there, so it wouldn't. But things are getting interesting now. A reason to get seen here. With a bomb bug just, like... Hopping off of here? Hmm, okay. Whoa, okay. Possibility space just expanded a bit. Oh, here's another one. What about awakening a statue that sat on a block here? Okay, cool. How are you going to get that block there? I could push across here and be stuck because I can't get to this waypoint and can't get back that way. I can maybe have a flying snake carry it there, but good luck with that. Hmm. That doesn't feel like it makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, I'm pondering this now. So just to show some stuff. I can do that, just fine. That's not even what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, here, you do that. You get close to me and be sacrificed here. Then I scare that bumbug in that direction. Uh, actually, that's a little too early, so just ignoring lots of things. I might want to engage with these, like this part of the room, a little earlier than I thought. Oh, I can't though. See, what I spotted here was that this is in line with... Oh, good grief, is that what this bomb bug is for? Does bomb bug B blow this up? No way. It could. Since this is now the only... This is the only way I've seen to reasonably activate this, unless I'm having a bomb bug come up here and exploding it there and stepping that way. I think the fact that these are in line is meaningful. I think I need to be standing here, with this open and that alive. Step north onto this and be up high. The only thing of interest that does is let me 
get into something sightline here, and that's either statue or bomb bug. Could be angry eye, but that's not of any benefit. This has to go in the water there, I know that much. The bomb bug's interesting though. So it could be that... Okay, so just like, wild new allocation here. Monster block with Angry Eye, here. Angry Eye shoots that and dies. S push block here. Statue that was on the push block somehow dies there and creates a stepping stone. This thing with the bomb bug on it goes to that spot. Good luck with that, but somehow it happens. Then the other bomb bug, having blown that up, sure, good luck with that. Somehow it happens, maybe. Would... You would hit this while I'm in here. There is room to dance around in all the requisite ways, I believe. Gonna get a lot of toggles on my way in. Oh, but I can also approach from this direction, because those are all filled, except there's a... Bomb bug on a push block here. Uh, cool, that doesn't help with sacrificing anybody on this altar. Because that's all three of these filled in then. That's a lot less efficient than what I was doing before, which also blew those up. No, that's just using more pieces for no reason. Hmm. No, don't like it. Yeah, because the ultimate result is the same, it's just more wasteful. But maybe it's necessary for ordering somehow. Anyway, okay, so I followed that wild idea. Didn't go much of anywhere, but I, I followed it. Okay, so... For Bombug B to be sacrificed here... I still need this sacrifice altar to be... to have something sacrificed on it very early. And who and what is that? If I got a statue there... Let's see if I can do that. You go, I don't know, here or something. Yeah, you're making a mess, I know, whoops. That sort of worked out. Um, sort of. You're gonna not do what I want. Eh, I've seen worse. It's fine. Uh, no, it's a bit better another way. Okay. Sure. Not quite how I wanted that to be. This won't help, will it? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, hang on! What if that bomb bug was south? No, no, interesting things are happening here. There's some coincidences going on. Pull out statue, I'll put it there. That was a fine spot. All the way up here. Ah, I'm off by one. Is there a way I could not be? I don't really see one.
Guess I was off by two before. <laughs> hey, I did it! I sacrificed something there. Unfortunately, it was me. Okay, I don't think this is going anywhere. It was worth a try, though. Why am I so dead set on doing this early? What do I need this bomb bug for? Right, the sacrifice on this altar because I just don't have enough monsters otherwise. Why don't I have enough monsters otherwise? If statue goes here, flank snake one... Goes here, flank snake two, carries that in and dies there. Or here. The statue's gone, the angry eye's gone because it's done this, the bomb bug's gone because it's blown up there, other bomb bug's gone because it's blown up, just nowhere useful. This one's just an obstacle. What's wrong with that exactly? Right, the issue is the slug doesn't die. The slug doesn't die because there's no one to die here. I'm left with nobody, and this will not be getting in there, certainly. I don't have a monster block anymore. Just one extra loose bomb bug. I feel like the only thing I can do with one loose extra bomb bug is to either blow this up so this can look at that for some reason, because this is here for a reason, and what is that? I don't know. Or, to be sacrificed on this, which would have to happen so long ago. Okay, so hang on, one more time. What exactly was the deal with this? Right, I can't get a flying snake in there first. Sure I can. Check it. <laughs> this is silly, but... Um, doesn't it stop one short of working? Yes, it does. Not quite that, then. If I enlisted a statue's aid, maybe I could push that in a bit, but then how do you expect me to get to the other side of it? Wait, no. None of this is gonna work. No, no, no. That can never. Hm. Doesn't help. I can't teleport over there. Okay, so that's not working. Who dies here? And when? It has to be early, maybe. Not necessarily! For this to have a purpose, it has to be early. Because, yeah, and I run out of monsters if it's not. Right, if you're the monster... To sacrifice it. Okay, so I know for absolutely sure Bomb Bug B is not the monster sacrificed here, because I have to sacrifice here to get access to Bomb Bug B. Okay, so it is not this. 100%. Cannot be, no matter what. Bomb Bug F is unlikely, but only because it's a Bomb Bug, not because it has a dependency. I still want to stay. Statue seems the most likely, except it just. Doesn't? Kinda? Now, hold on a second, can I stack this higher? No, it was already pretty hard to stack it as high as I did. I was thinking of having like all three of these in the stack, like Angry Eye, Bomb Bug, Statue, then have it in there close to this for the sacrifice. Am I sure I can't do that? No, no, I can. I can. I can. Okay. So... That's an interesting idea. Uh, 
Alright. This is a completely ludicrous stack, and I kind of love it. So, alright, you're just gonna do your thing. That's fine... not really. Maybe the thing to do is that. Just leave you up high so I deal with you later and don't have to be encumbered by everything going on. Right, so first I... S okay, whoa, ordering this. Let's not worry about the order and just see if I can put all three of these in any kind of stack. Why did I put that up there? That's not what I want. Well, no, I do want one up at that height. Okay, now hang on. No, I can figure this out. So the... The middle one goes here, and the middle one is the bump bug. The top one... Goes... Okay, the top one is the statue. Top one goes on top of a block... Oh, dang, I, I messed up already. Middle one's the bomb bug. Top one is the statue. Oh. That's a slight issue. That's okay. I can make it not happen. Alright, I've not been spotted. Uh, sure. Can continue not spotting me, actually. It's right here. Oops. And angry eyes at the bottom, yes, okay. So now, having set all that up, I need something else set up. You want me to do all that while I have a block on a flying snake already? Are you sure? What does this do again? Open that, sure, that's... Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm not worrying about that part yet. I'm doing other things. Alright, you, out of the way for a moment, I need to... Mm. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's start with a thing here. A thing there. And a snaky thing right here. Alright. You've been blocked. Get in that bracket for a moment. But I need a lot of other stuff already in place, kinda. Okay. I can waypoint to just sort of get you off of me for a moment if I need to. I cannot put that in place already, but I could put it, like, sort of close. I guess that's as close as I could get it. This one should go also sort of close. Closer. Here will do. But now I don't have a blocker for- well, I guess that's the angry eye, then. Alright, snake with block. Goes to its spot. And how does that happen? Magically. Like that, okay. You go to your spot, and now uh, you're gonna get the snake out. Uh, I can put it back. Yeah, it won't stay though. Alright, well, the snake gets out. Just kind of watches me do this. Gonna detonate the bomb bug by doing it that way. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. Alright, you come on over here. Watch what I'm doing. You will be involved eventually. Alright, all the magic set up? I think so. Wow. Then... Don't detonate bomb bug. Put this up on top of... That now. 
Snake gets in my way a little bit, but that's just part of the fun. Stacked up. I won't have my assistive device anymore, huh? That is kind of unfortunate. You know what? You... Come over here. You go here for now. Come here, watch what I'm doing. Stay out of my hair for a second. Uh, being close is actually fine, and you know what? It makes moving the block a lot easier. Because I can get you off of me with uh, travel. And actually, yeah, just travel, travel. There we go, okay. So that's the stack I wanted at some point. So that whole funny thing is gonna do a bunch for me. Uh, I don't think this is going anywhere good. Again, isn't this just poorer allocation of resources here? That's what it feels like to me, but maybe something good will happen as a result somehow. I do need second flying snake out, and I think... okay. So, let's just try this, see where it goes. I pull this back out for future use here. I still have my other one. No one's been sacrificed here, but maybe that can still happen. So. Wait, hold on, nobody's been sacrificed here, and that can't still happen. It was gonna be you. Okay, well, I proved this concept at least, so that's something. It's something, it's not a lot of something, and yeah, I haven't prepared this, I know. But yes, so I can make a stack like that. It does take a few resources, including a flying snake. Unless I'm supposed to stack on this and that's your pr you won't really naturally get into that spot. I do like that this monster block is still on the ground, so I can still use it for scaring purposes. Okay. I know I can get this on the flying snake's head, like that's not a problem. It'll take a little bit of fiddling, but it's fine, very doable. This is not open though, and that is a problem because I have no openers for it anymore. So that would have had to have been... This flying snake, which is impossible. And then I would have no one for this. No, no, I'm just... I'm short a monster here. I'm just short a monster. No matter what I do, I have one monster too few. But alright, at least I proved I can make a, a super tall stack with these if I want to. I don't think I do. What am I going to do, though? Uh, no. I haven't solved my problem yet. <laughs> this altar, how? Nothing except me has ever been sacrificed here in my entire life. Is there some, like, cheap way I can do just anything at all. I tried to push a block here and get a flying snake on it. That didn't work out. If the snake could have been parked up there, maybe I could make that happen. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, here we go. Ignore everything else. Just put... Uh... 
Wait, how do I think I can do that? No, no, I can't. Never mind. I was gonna put a block here and bring it north and put it in there, then waypoint there and push the block over, then waypoint back and go here. So many of those things are not possible at the same time. Like, pieces of them are, but not the whole thing all at once. There's some big thing, like, have a slug at elevation 2 on my head, that kind of big thing, that I'm just not having the idea for here, and therefore nothing else, I just it's just a non-starter if I haven't had that idea, is what it feels like, but that might not be true. I don't know if that's what's going on here. Ah. I'm gonna try and hop this door. No! That would be an illegitimate victory. And also, I don't think I can do it. Don't I, though? Probably shouldn't. Yeah, it's hard to see how that would happen. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, so anyway. Huh. Most unclear thing to he me here is the role of the statue. What can a statue do for me? Like, all of the things a statue can do. It can die in water and become a stepping stone. It can die on a sacrifice altar and be a sacrifice. Which sacrifice altars? This one, easily. This one, much less easily, but I think that's maybe the right tool for it, maybe. This one's impossible. Yeah, so absolutely not here. Probably here, easily here. Okay, so Stepping Stone, Sacrifice, it can push blocks, including diagonally, it can drop trapdoors, it can clean poison, it can just be a buffer for something to stand on top of it. It could block another monster from moving. Enumerating these things isn't helping me much. Well, but now that I've said them, again, the, the best job for you is to die here. That's what I'd prefer. Best job for you is to die here. That's not something I can make happen. Not in this layout. Not without this rubble gone, and even then I think I still can't. Okay, so first of all, you getting over here either involves you staying on the block, riding a flying snake and being deposited, or getting on the ground and dropping one of these trapdoors at least. It feels wrong to pull you off your block without doing anything with the fact that you're on the block. I'm fidgeting with my controller and hitting things by accident. The fact that you're on a block, what does that mean? Either it keeps you inert until a particular time when I'm up high waking you up, like say here, but good luck with that. Okay, yeah, this element I still don't understand, <laughs> no matter how hard I try. Blowing this up involves either pulling... I feel like I'm not pulling any of these off their platforms without doing something special with the fact that they're on platforms, like stacking them up and carrying them in here. A flying snake can only take one load. It has to die to drop its load. Unless the statue's pushing it off it? 
Now that's possible. I don't think it's what's happening, but it's possible. Are there any other doors that I can jump over, interestingly? I can kill Flying Snake B on the Sacrifice Altar just by bridging here and killing it that way. Like, that's that's a thing I can do. Yeah, but that involves deplatforming one of these. Having done that, I still have to make a kill on the... Well, no, hold on. Is that so bad? Yes, because I am then short a monster for... this still. Right, so, again, like, how do I... Which monster is it that I'm wasting that I... Right, because... Because if the statue's going here, who's dying here? Three sacrifices. Four potential monsters. Exactly one of these dies not on a sacrifice altar, and it's one of the flying snakes here. So a flying snake, a statue, a bomb bug? Right, I was trying to put a bomb bug there. But no, the bomb bug is dying here. That has to be. So, right, I have two monsters. Two monsters. One statue, one flying snake, and three altars to sacrifice on. So that is the fundamental conflict. There, I finally got to it. Okay, so if that's the fundamental conflict, then I have to get Bombug B involved. Either it's the one that explodes here, or it's one of my sacrifices. Bombug F could be the other sacrifice if you're actually exploding there. However, I don't think it's you exploding there. Now, of note, I do end up with kind of an extra push block if I deplatform the statue and use it over here just by, like, pulling it in. Because I only need two remaining for that angry eye. I wish I understood you. Will I by the time I'm done with this room? Maybe. Okay, so potential extra monsters to pull in, it's either Bombug A or Bombug B. It's one of these two. Those are the only possible extra ones I can pull in. Unless I'm just doing something like absolutely different here, like I'm never killing a flying snake here to fill in those bits of water. It feels really unlikely that I'm doing anything else, though, because, like, that just, that works too well. Or... Could I just bring it in here? Well, no, but I'm still killing it in that spot. That's just a difference between it following me and it following me a different way. That's That doesn't make a difference, really. However, now check this out. What if you only ever carry the bomb bug? Mm, yeah, I could convince a flying snake to go in there. And bring itself to me here. If I could just somehow multitask with the kill here and the, the box delivery, but I can't because this is one too far south for that. So can I multitask with the delivery here? What would I like to deliver here? A statue so I could put a stepping stone? I don't want a stepping stone there unless it comes from this monster block. Like, that is a hard requirement. There's no getting around that. I have total confidence in that. So if I do that first, then the statue is on the box here. I've somehow magically blown that up open, which requires things I can't do. So, no, I haven't done that. Never mind.
I wonder if there's any significance to these being separated as they are. If it's important, ah, perhaps this exists to guard against an explosion here. Multitasking with sacrificing and also this. Or maybe not, maybe that's exactly what I want. Yeah, what if multitask- oh, and also doing that opens up some of the space, making it more possible to get something like a, a flying snake on this. It's still hard, but it's more possible. What if these are in two separate explosions? One here and one here where the angry eye was. Okay, that's an interesting idea. I don't see how it's going to happen, though. What? Okay, could I get a bomb bug here? It'd be, of course, bomb bug F. That's the only potential one. Especially if it's happening before Sacrifice Altar doesn't have a letter, but this one. I'd move you in there and unperch you. Okay, how do I move you in there? If I walk in there, I lose waypoint access and outside access. If the statue pushes you in, then I have a statue. And also, how would I unstack you? I don't know, I don't think a bomb bug's going here. There's like 10 individual puzzles here, and they all interlink. And they're all like of the difficulty of everything else in this world. We're gonna be here a while. I might not even be close to being done with this room. I got a lot of pieces into the right place, but to get the last one I have to move all the others still. It's all interlinked. It's fun to work through, just, like, I gotta be patient with it, it's gonna take the time that it takes. I don't quite feel done for the day, though. I should be, but I don't feel like I am. I want to sacrifice something here, just, like, hack me in a way to sacrifice something. So, like, spend every conceivable resource just to get a sacrifice here somehow. Who can do that? How? It just, it's buried so deep. Like, it's its the hardest one to do. It's, you got layers of grass, poison trap door, rubble, walls, more grass, just all the things around this, this most protected tile that's ever existed. I guess I did sacrifice something on, on there. Problem is it was a ferret. Ferret's a valid sacrifice, but not for... Uh, not for the solution. So statue or flying snake? It's not bomb bug. Statue or flying snake? Flying snake requires an explosion. Flying snake cannot be put there with a ferret nearby. It has to be a statue. So if it's this statue, how is the statue getting... Again, explosion? Yeah, it's kind of just explosion again, isn't it? Can I do the explosion while the statue still is alive and on its thing? Sure. Can't I? No, because I don't have enough 
pre-sacrifices. Right, I run out of monsters before then, and I need the statue to do a job. Can this just be, like, super late? But, but I need this door open, so who dies here? I don't know who dies on any sacrifice altar, what? Just, I'm one piece short no matter what I do. Is there stuff in the room I just, like, mechanisms I don't understand? Yes, this one. But beyond that, are there more mechanisms I don't understand? Could this be for something other than what I think it's for? None of that does anything of interest. This is killable for a reason, because I have to get this bomb bug out. What's my job for it once it's out? Okay, so there, there's a question. What's bomb bug be doing for me? I had the idea once it's getting sacrificed here, but... How does that make any sense? If I could just kill something here... looking so hard for a way to do that. Just this waypoint's on the wrong side. It's all poisony here. statue in this location would do it. If this poison is gone... If this poison is gone, sleeping statue in this location would do it. But that's invalid. Because then I would never have the angry eye here. And that's the only place in line with this that can shoot it. So no, that's just not even worth considering. How? How sacrifice here? I was hoping I'd have an answer to this today. I don't. I still do not. Nothing can die here, except me. If the explosion's already gone off here, it's way too late. Like it has to be before then. Why, though? Just because I run out of monsters, really, and this gets me one more monster in theory. Right, it does, right? It takes some doing to actually extract that monster, but it's, it's possible, right? I would need the one extra bit of bridging there. Then I would push this out of the way somehow. Then I would pop that and I would have you in a place where I can move you. So I would still need to have a push block al alive at that time. Ah, so here's the fundamental conflict. Oh, yeah, there are so many conflicts here. So, if you're involved in any part of the chain of making an explosion happen here, which includes this altar... Then I've lost my monster block and cannot scare you into this spot. I could pull you... I could pull you and detonate you there and step there. I can't rule that out. 
Annoyingly, that's possible. Why do I even want this door open if these are all cleared out, though? Well, maybe they're stashed somewhere. Okay, so here's a thought. Flying Snake dies here, but not by my claw. Something else kills it? So that's Angry Eye Beam or Explosion, which... ...doesn't really work. Nothing specific anywhere in here. And there's the poison in the trapdoor to contend with. I just... I cannot... There's so many layers of cannot do what I need to do here. Just again, this is the most protected tile in the universe. How can I breach any part of the protection? Okay. Poison could be swept up by block or statue. Rubble can be blown up by explosion. That's it. Can this angry eye here do multiple jobs? No, I have to... Oh. Yeah, no, I do have to kill it. I don't know. I'm going in circles at this point. Like, I got a hair closer, maybe, but it's not close enough. I mean, like, I have this fundamental monster allocation problem. Until I do something about that, we're not going anywhere. Like, this is... this... nothing happens until I solve the monster allocation problem. Like, maybe I'm just on a dead-end path here. It just... so many parts of it work well, I just... I can't get a monster here. One, I run out. Two, this is the most protected tile in the universe. So, I both don't have something to put here and can't put it here. <laughs> both are true at the same time and I have to solve both at once. And I have to do it before I've done a lot of other stuff too, I think. I don't know, I'm going in circles. This is... Huh. We're still here, it's fine. Puzzle's cool, but just, you know, be patient. We're gonna... Oh, right, uh, in this version I have these rounded corners in, apparently. Right. I forgot that I made a bunch of changes. It's it's a lot of stuff. I'm, it's a lot of stuff I haven't even talked about, but yeah. So marks are here. Maybe they'll come in handy for future parts of this. I'll see you next time.